Alex had um, a severe spinal cord injury that happened when he was playing rugby back in August of last year. And he sustained a, a broken neck, so a fractured cervical vertebra at level five. And this broken neck bone impacted on his spinal cord. He's had recovery of some sensation and has sensation in most areas of his body, although that's altered. But his motor function has been um, significantly affected, and so he has very little motor function below the level of his hands. He is so positive in his outlook and his drive to be the best that he can be, and I think it's just inspirational to all of us. He's an amazing young man. After spending six months in hospital, Clark is back after going home for Christmas. Thank you. Me too. And he's got a busy schedule ahead of him, especially as he's planning to return to school. Hello. With his aunt Shirley in tow, he's here for another round of rehab. <laughs> he hugs like Lockie does. Yeah, my son. <laughs> <laughs> so on a scale of 0 to 10, where 10 is like the worst pain, like how pain painful is it? It was painful yesterday, 10. It was a 10 yesterday. Yeah. Painful there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, come back down. All right, I'm going up. Tell me when it starts. Okay. There. I've been involved in Alex's long intensive rehabilitation whilst he was living in here at the hospital. Um, and our big goal up until Christmas was to get Alex home for Christmas and or discharged from hospital, which happened. How far can you go? Oh, you're quite a cute, aren't you? Is that sore under my finger, under my thumb? Yeah. It is, yeah, okay. And what about you? Keep looking at me and just take your ear down. Wow, is that all you can do? We might need to hoist you onto the bed today, Alex, because I don't want you doing transfers while your shoulder is this sore. You going to help out with the arms? Yeah. Yep. And now we're in looking into the next phase of Alex's rehab, and that is teaching Alex how to be more independent in the way he moves around the community, the way he pushes in his wheelchair. He's got to learn how to use the muscles he has control over to shift his weight where normally he, you know, his postural system would have been doing that automatically for him. His legs are getting a bit tired, aren't they? You doing your hammy stretches yeah. every day? I did this morning. Yep. Oh, good boy. Good. You've done your homework. I Just, <laughs> well, I don't know about that. So it's even more important that you do that daily, like really prolonged stretch. So we don't lose any range, but your range is really good. Alex can use all of his shoulder muscles and the muscles that bend his elbows, but the muscles that straighten his elbows, his triceps aren't working at the moment. And his hand function is quite tricky. He has limited hand function and he relies on the development of tightness in the tendons on the inside of his fingers. Sorry, Clarky. I'm being, I'm being cruel to be kind. Try and concentrate on your breathing. You tell me if you need me to stop so you can have a break. Clarky has been speeding around on his wheelchair, causing pain in his shoulder. Typical. Wanting to get to the finish line in a hurry. He loves this bit. This is a bit that's not too painful. Mm. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. And luckily he shaved off his bum fluff and had a haircut. Yep. I know Clarkie was a bit nervous about getting back to school, but he was pretty determined to get into a routine. Oh, they've gone the wrong way. I know they were right. You can't stay home gaming all day, although Clarkie did ask if that was possible. He also knew the return to Nudgee would be a chance to see his schoolmates again, even if it meant some extra attention. Nudgee was genuinely excited that Alex was coming back to us this year, um, and even more so that Alex really wanted to be here. Given that, we basically had a few really exciting options that we had to think of and to think outside the box in terms of how we cater for him and his needs. How are you? Good to see you. I'm looking, I'm admiring this. Hey? You look so handsome, Alex. <laughs> Can I get a photo? How are you on a camera? Um, I don't know. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
smile, Alex. Alex has a carer with him on a full-time basis, and that carer's primary role is his physical and health needs. They are not part of his education as such. I'm a registered nurse now, but I'm working for Alex as like a support worker. Basically, that just involves me getting him up in the morning and just looking after him throughout the days. What size is this? Ten. Ten. Oh, he's eleven. They seemed all right though. Eleven, twelve. But they're with him every day and they help feed him at lunch times and get him around. Although he's, from what we can see, he's very independent and he wants to push himself around the place. And he'll have 1,600 other kids that'll be there for him anytime he needs it. Today is a special and joy-filled day for so many reasons. We welcome back today our schoolmate, Alex Clark. Can we welcome Alex? And that trademark clarky smile might just need a bit more work. It's so fantastic to have Alex back at school. You're off to school. Whee! <laughs> Sorry. Is the other drop off up here or something? Yeah. Yeah, imagine how huge his arms would be if he just had to wheel this every year. Initially, Alex was going to come back for two days uh, a week and hopefully we'll build that up by the end of this term to three days a week, looking forward that he'll be here as many days a week by the end of the year that he possibly could, and even transition into full, full schooling. You're in big fell. Oh. Wow. Mum's gonna go now. You have a good day at school. Are you feeling good at the moment in terms of your, your health? You don't need a bathroom again or you're hungry? And we can try your desk in GA1. Too high or too low? Uh, you've got two of these for your typing, what are you using for your typing? He's definitely got a lot on his plate, so he's got to balance all his physio, schoolwork, obviously just doing everything sort of take, does take a lot longer, so just um, finding time for everything is probably definitely a major challenge. The reds are construction, that's the subject that you elected, um, but unfortunately we can't get you into construction yet, so not this term yet. Clark, he's got a real strength to his character. Although from the outside, it's sometimes hard to tell. Doesn't give much away, he's got a very straight face. <laughs> Would probably be like the best poker player ever if, <laughs> if he played, but yeah, no, funny kid, just jokes all the time. He's a great kid, he's, he's very brave. He's got a very dry sense of humour. He loves to pay out on us and does constantly. The other kids that he encountered in the ward, I think he was an inspiration to all of them and also to our team, it, you know, he's just a fantastic young man to work with and he's touched a lot of other people's lives as well. I'm going to leave you now. Make sure you charge your device. How are you feeling? Good. It's absolutely wonderful to see you. occasion came along when I knew my brother was playing in Brisbane on a Friday night. I thought I would see if he was free the Thursday before, just to do a, an acoustic show. He basically said yes straight away, which is what he's like, very generous to be able to do that. But it's a really good community event to get the Nudgee people here all together to uh, support Alex and his family. Nudgee community is an amazing community and to all be here together tonight to support Alex, it's actually been lovely to be together. I've been working here a few years now and I've never seen a school rally behind a kid so, so much. Every day it was a new roster of kids, you know, when we're doing the timetabling for Alex to do his therapy, you'd always be factoring in, you know, well, you know, the uh, group of kids are coming off school each day and then coming through at 12 o'clock or one o'clock during the day, sometimes two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Right from the start, when Alex first did his injury and first went in a hospital, the people have uh, gathered around with meal rosters, daily visits from staff and parents. Alex's mates have been awesome the way they've got around him and helped and supported him. His friends visiting every day was amazing and it is what kept him going I think. Yeah we really take our hat off to the school. As a Nudgee community we're absolutely blessed that they can be all part of that and be with them every step of the way. Uh, hi Alex, my brother David's told me a lot about you, he speaks very highly of you. I'm sorry you can't be here with us tonight and I wish you all the best for your recovery. I know it's slow but uh, I just hope it keeps Moving along. All the best, Alex.
Two weeks later, and Clarkie still ain't smiling. We should give you a go. Just for... Yeah, so we had one paracetamol this morning because that's all we had. How come you only had one Panadol? Because that's, that's, that's all we had. We literally only had one Panadol at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the logistics now in place, Alex can now concentrate on getting into his nudgy routine. Two at a time? Oh, yeah. yeah. The planets aligned, and what we're able to do is find a ground floor air conditioned classroom that was in very, very close proximity to everything that he would possibly need a bathroom that he could access, the health centre, all within 50 or 60 metres of where he was going to be based. So we were very lucky that our timetabler was able to move each of his five classes into that same room. There are going to be daily challenges and adjustments for Clarky, and we all know that the journey is going to be a long one. Back to the side. But so far, he's doing pretty well but it's fair to say that there's still plenty of help needed. That little regard for anyone else but himself, maybe? Do you think that's what you're trying to say? Okay, go. From the school's perspective, we've given him a teacher aid for each of his classes. So again, he's got that immediate accessibility to, to working in class and to any activities that he has to do. Next one. Explain the impact this had on Indigenous inhabitants. How did this affect the culture and growth of the Aboriginal people? He also has a spare period during each of the days and that teacher aide will work one-on-one -on -one with him to keep him up to date with anything he is doing in class or anything he may have missed in the times that he wasn't here. Looks like Clark, he might have reached the end of his attention span. Yep, I guess we should mention gaming just to keep him awake. Clarky is an avid gamer. And even that pastime will look and feel a bit different from now on. He's an electrical engineer who makes them. It's just a basic HRD joystick. It's the new Microsoft Adaptive Controller. So while Alex was a patient here, um, we managed to get some funding for a bunch of new devices. They kind of centre around a new Microsoft Adaptive Controller that's recently come out. And it was released while Alex was a patient here. So we managed to get our hands on a, on a model of it and were able to uh, use Alex as our way of uh, experimenting and playing around with a new device because um, it may be something that he's going to look into using long term because, you know, all kids want to play video games and have fun with their friends. So there's a small part of Clarkie's journey so far. There's a long road ahead, but there's plenty of support around him. We need that to continue, so that's why we're getting blue for Alex. Have a great evening. And thank you for your support of Alex. Alex.